Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to use a registration campaign to set up Microsoft Authenticator for Microsoft Android users. The registration campaign policy is an initiative designed to promote the use of stronger authentication methods, especially the Microsoft Authenticator application. This applies even to users who are currently using standard SMS or phone authentication. The objective of this campaign is to require users to re-authenticate using the Microsoft Authenticator application. Users are required to download and authenticate exclusively through the application. So basically, the registration campaign policy is used to move users from less secure authentication methods to Microsoft Authenticator. There are some prerequisites that need to be met. The organization must have enabled Microsoft Entra multi-factor authentication. Every addition of Microsoft Entra ID includes Microsoft Entra multi-factor authentication. No other license is needed for the registration campaign. Users can't have already set up the Authenticator app for push notifications on their account. Enabling the Authenticator app is easy and can be done in a few clicks. Let's see how we can do that. Access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. We are currently using the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. First, let's check the status of the Microsoft Authenticator Authentication Methods policy. Expand Protection and click on Authentication Methods. By default, the Microsoft Authenticator Authentication Method policy is enabled for all users. We can configure it as per our requirements. Click on Microsoft Authenticator. We can see any mode is selected for all users. This means that all Microsoft Entra users are enabled by default to use Microsoft Authenticator in both passwordless and push notification modes. To change the mode for each row for authentication mode, choose any or passwordless. We will keep any selected. If you have changed the option, click save to apply the policy. Let's close this page. So with all the requirements in place, let's see where we can configure the registration campaign. Click on registration campaign. The intention here is to establish a more secure method. You have the flexibility to exclude users in specific scenarios or if you don't plan to introduce them to Microsoft Authenticator at this point. Alright, let's set it up. Note the default state, it is Microsoft Managed. Click on Add it and click on Drop Down. Choose Microsoft Manage to enable the registration campaign only for voice call or text message users. The Microsoft Manage setting allows Microsoft to set the default value. To enable the feature, select Enabled. Days allowed to snooze sets the period between two successive interrupted prompts. For example, if it's set to three days, users who skip registration don't get prompted again until after three days. That means select value zero days. A value of zero days means the user will be prompted to authenticate every day. The user can still skip the wizard but is reminded on daily base. If limited number of snooze is enabled, users can skip the interrupt prompt three times after which they are forced to register authenticator. If limited number of snooze is disabled, users can snooze an unlimited number of times and avoid registering authenticator. In this example, I'll keep enabled selected. If required, you can specify any users or groups to exclude from the registration campaign. At top, click on save to save the changes. The policy was successfully saved. Now what does it look like for the end user? Open new in private window. Type entra.microsoft.com and hit enter key. Enter the UPN address of the user. In our example, 
I'm going to specify UPN address Joe at msftvabcast.in. Click Next. Enter user's password and click on Sign In. The user must complete the MFA process. As you know that we are using SMS based authentication for verification. After entering the verification code, click on verify. User signs in like always and is prompted to do MFA. After this was successful, he is now prompted for the second time to enroll the authenticator application. User can snooze this message by clicking skip for now or click next to start the registration. Users with free and trial subscription can snooze the prompt up to three times. Click next to start the registration. Now this will just be a standard enrollment procedure that is used for MFA registration. Let's open Microsoft Authenticator application. Tap on this plus icon. In browser, click next. Click next again. Tap on work or school account. Tap on scan QR code. Scan this QR code to add the user's account into Microsoft Authenticator application. As you can see, Joe Root's user account is added successfully in Microsoft Authenticator application. Click Next to continue. Enter the number 57 and tap on Yes to confirm. Notification approved. Click Next to continue. The user has successfully set up his security information using Microsoft Authenticator application. Click Done to complete the process. Click on No. After the successful registration of Microsoft Authenticator application, user will reach on Microsoft Android Admin Center. Expand Users and click on All Users. Click on Joe Root. Click on Authentication Methods. Let's switch to New Authentication Methods Experience. Let's click here to view it. As you can see, user is not able to see the Authentication Methods information here. Let's go back to Microsoft Android Admin Center, which we have access using the Global Administrator account. Uh, expand Users and click on All Users. Click on Joe Root and then click on Authentication Methods. We can confirm that Microsoft Authenticator app is added successfully as an authentication method. We can also verify that the SMS sign-in method is not deleted and can still be used as a backup method. So we can confirm that registration campaign to set up Microsoft Authenticator application is working as configured. Now suppose if you want to disable registration campaign, how you can do that? So let's see how we can disable registration campaign for our tenant. Expand Protection and click on Authentication Methods. Click on Registration Campaign. Click on Edit. Set the state to Disable and click on Save. This will disable registration campaign in our Microsoft Android ID tenant. So this is how you can use registration campaign to promote Microsoft Authenticator application in Microsoft Android ID tenant. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.